this lesson is uh, creating a curtain wall. It's a special type of wall. It's composed of mullions and glass panels. As such, the, the door itself is a special kind of door, the door that gets inserted. Uh, let's go to this elevation view and see what it looks like in elevation. So I'm going to delete this wall and create it from scratch. Don't worry about this message. Um, deleting the boundary to a, a, a room uh, creates confusion with the room there. That's okay. Now the conference room is this entire space. But once we put the wall back, that'll fix it. Um, the wall type that we're going to use is a, uh, a curtain wall type. So from architecture wall, I'm going to change the wall type to this curtain wall type 1, simple one. Um, we have set the base offset to 0. The top constraint is going to be unconnected, and I'm going to make it 10 feet. The ceiling is at 9 feet. And typically when these are built, they're built uh, snug to the, to the ceilings. Um, for purposes of this model, we're going to uh, go slightly higher. So the first step is to uh, draw the curtain wall. If I go to this elevation view, you'll see the curtain wall is uh, unremarkable. We have not yet divided it into panels. We, we will do so from this elevation view. So the second step in creating a curtain wall is establishing a, a grid pattern. Um, if I move the mouse to the any horizontal edge, it creates a vertical division. These are simply lines which divide up, I believe, uh, at the far end, at each end, uh, it automatically creates a line. Here's a, um, a line where the transoms are going to be. The next step is to, I'm going to skip the, the, the typical uh, alignment spacing this isn't an exercise in spacing, but you probably know that um, we can use the same tools to move with precision uh, or set with preci precision the space between these elements. I'm not going to bother to do that now because we've learned that in a previous lesson. Uh, once these divisions are set, you need to go to architecture, you, you turn them into mullions by uh, clicking this mullion tool, and that basically divides, uh, converts the division elements into mullions. Notice that uh, at either end of the wall they're uh, automatically uh, a division is placed because uh, the, the wall needs some kind of termination. The next thing to do if I wanted uh, for this center uh, for a wall to for a door to exist in, in, in this panel is move the mouse over the edge of the panel and tab until the panel reveals itself and becomes selectable. Then you need to replace that using the type selector with a curtain wall door. And there's a door, curtain wall, single glass. And you see that now 
the door replaces the glass panel.